Rob Grimes with the IFBTA, and I'm here at the Zag booth at CES. We're taking a look at different types of technologies, and Zag is offering a number of different uh, keyboards. The interesting thing is these keyboards are not the same as some of the ones that we've seen, and they may actually have a practical application within hospitality operations. So if we take a look at some of these things, I think I'm going to start right here. Now this is a Surface, um, and this is specifically made for the Surface. The interesting thing about this keyboard, and maybe we can zoom in on it, is it actually has two uh, Bluetooth connections on it. So you can actually have two Bluetooth devices, and you can go ahead and click on one or two and select what device. So maybe you're using the Surface at one moment, but you also want to go ahead and do things on a big screen TV or on some other tablet or some other notebook, you can do that. But the other interesting thing is two-year battery life, which is sort of unheard of, you know, as far as a device and it's using Bluetooth that goes to the surface. If we walk over to the next one here, this is an interesting sort of docking station. I guess docking station's not the right word because there isn't power with it, but of course you could have a power block right behind it. But in this case, you're able to put whatever tablet you want into here, and this, actually if we can zoom in down here, has three different Bluetooth connections. So I could have both of these devices, plus perhaps the TV in the room. Now the thing that I'm thinking about as an application, as a practical application, is in the old days when the PCs came out in internet, we used to put PCs into hotel rooms. We got rid of all that. We put the connecting points in there. But today we have a central screen that serves as the hub within a hotel room. Well, if you think about it this way, if you have that hub and you have a Bluetooth connection, and right now you go look at the desk and you see all the wiring ports and things that are there. Well, instead, go ahead and put one of these simple pads down on the desk. A person puts their tablet, their phone on it, and they can control the TV and do their work creating a virtual environment with a keyboard that is actually located in the room. Now again, there's no power on it, but if you couple this with a power brick or you put one of the uh, in-port power uh, uh, ports within a room, then you solve the power problem. Now this last one is really interesting to me, something I'm going to go ahead and purchase and use personally. So this is actually a portable keyboard which folds up just like that. Now this also has a two-year battery in it, which is unheard of because I'm constantly traveling I'm constantly not only you know, having to power up my phone and recharge it, but I obviously had to do it on here. The nice thing about this is that on this device, this can actually hold any number of tablets. It doesn't have to be a phone. It can also be a full tablet that's on here. I guess we could take this you know, and sit it on there. So it can be a tablet. It can be a smaller you know, screen, but any number of things. But again, a fold up, and it's a pretty full keyboard. If you look at it and you consider the size of this keyboard, with something else, and again, a two-year battery power. So, keyboards, something been, a long, uh, been around for a long time, but keyboards through Zag certainly have an opportunity for us in the hospitality industry to take advantage of the multifunctional devices that we want to be using in operations, but have one keyboard do it all. I'm going to get some of these products for my office. I think we're going to start to see these types of products appearing in hotel rooms, in other places where we need portability, high power, you know, the two-year power, and we need to be able to do multiple devices at one time. Rob Grimes, IFBTA in the Zag booth at CES.